Hi friends, this is Shanmuk. In this video, I'll show you how to remove your SQL Server forcefully. Okay, so how to remove the SQL Server forcefully? So sometimes, yes, if you remove the SQL Server using GUI, it may not remove properly, or it may not work sometimes. If you remove using command prompt, also sometimes it may not remove properly. So for that, what we can do is might be there is some issue with the Windows operating system. So that's why you cannot remove completely. Okay, SQL Server and all. Sometimes I'm not saying every time. So this is very rare cases where you have to remove the SQL Server forcefully. Okay, so if it is not responding for GUI, if it is not responding for command, then you have only one way that you have to remove the SQL components forcefully from your Windows machine. How can we do that? Okay, so there is a command. Using this command only, we are going to remove the SQL servers forcefully. So let's first find out the, in case if you want to remove any SQL component, first of all, we have to know its GUID number. Okay, we have to know its GUID number, then only we can remove it, okay, completely. So first we have to find out what is the GUID number for a SQL server, which we are going to remove it, okay? So to find out the GUID number, we have this query, and just run this query by just opening your command prompt in run as admin mode. Okay, so just open your command prompt in run as admin mode and then run the query, paste the query, and then just check the components, what and all components with the SQL, with the name of SQL. Okay, so it will take time yeah, to pull all the information. It is going to okay pull all the SQL components here. Okay, whatever SQL components installed in your machine. It is going to pull all the SQL components installed in this machine. Then based on that, you have to remove your unused SQL Server components from this list. Okay, so it will take time to pull the list. So I'm going to pause this video until then. Yes, no need to pause. You can see the components. Okay, you can see here you can see the components with the GUID number. This is the component SQL Server 2017 DMF. And uh, this component GUID number is this one. Okay. So like this, you can see other components also. If you want to remove completely, completely without leaving any SQL component in the machine, then you have to remove each and every component individually. Okay. By using MSI EXEC slash X you can simply copy paste that component GUID number, which is going to remove that particular component forcefully, safely. Okay, so in case if it is not removing using GUI or command mode, then try this method. It is going to remove all the components, okay, forcefully. So let's remove this database engine services. And again, you can see, right? SQL Server 2017 Database Engine Services. Okay, SQL Server 2017 Database Engine Services is the main component. So if you remove this, don't think other components will be removed automatically. So if you remove this, this component only will be removed. Okay, and then you have to remove each component. Again, like the same method, you have to remove it. Okay, so just type MSI EXEC slash X and your SQL Server 2017 Database Engine okay guid number just mark it and just if you have an issue you can just enter you can just convert into a single line this is the whole guid number okay Okay, so this is the complete GUID number. Okay, from this bracket to this bracket is the complete GUID number. Then just copy the whole GUID number, then paste it here. Right, and if you hit enter, this component only will be removed. Okay, which component GUID we just copied, the, that component only will be removed completely. And you can see here SQL Server Database Engine 
okay uh, this one sql server 2017 database engine services okay this component we have copied right this component gid we have copied right so only this copy will be removed this this component will be removed okay so if you want to remove this component again you have to type msi exec slash x and again copy paste the whole gid number and hit enter if you want to remove this one again msi exec slash x and copy the gid which which component you want to remove okay so just type your command msi exec slash x and that component gid number you have to enter so that it is going to remove the okay particular component are you sure you want to uninstall this product yes this action is only valid for products that are currently installed okay might be this product is not installed it was already removed okay so what we can do is again just hit the command okay we'll see again just get the list of commands okay we'll see whatever components are installed then we'll remove other components also this time we'll remove these components either this or this which one is available we are going to remove that component okay not an issue or else we can copy this also yes okay so you can see and uh, let's go with this one database engine services or let's go with the second one we'll see mark okay no problem just copy multiple times enter and let me paste it here the second one right and this one right click mark and done enter cdfad okay and paste it here right now your command is ready right paste this one copy this one go to your command prompt use up arrow to get the command msi exec right so remove this one and paste your new component and hit enter are you sure yes okay now you can see right it is going to completely remove the sql 2017 instance and its agent and it's going to remove the sql server main database engine also so it is asking to remove both the components okay so automatically close application them to restart them after setup to complete do not close applications okay so you can see like this okay sql server 2017 database engine services just click okay it is going to remove completely and permanently from this device so after doing this you have to reboot your windows machine okay so now it was successfully removed and if you want to see here go to here so we have removed this component okay this in instance sql 2017 instance okay if you want to see you can refresh it and you can see whether this instance is existed or not right click refresh okay so it is still showing okay so we can remove directly i guess it was stopped state and let me check again whether they successfully removed or not or else run the command again we'll see if it is there or not there yeah the, this action is only valid for products that are currently installed so that seems it was removed so to remove this one okay you have to restart the windows server and all and nothing to worry simply you have to restart the windows server so that automatically this will be disappear okay so uh, this is how we can forcefully remove the sql components in the same way if you want to remove other components also again same command msi xcc slash x and simply that co that component guid number you have to copy paste from this list and you can just hit enter so that it is going to remove the components permanently so this is how we'll remove the components forcefully from the windows machine okay Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.